Welcome once again to our morning devotions, experiencing God through the seasons of life. Our devotion this morning is coming from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 26. And the title of our devotion is The Last Enemy. I shall read in your hearing. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Um, this is a promise. We are where we are, we are who we are today as widows with this title because of death. But here is a powerful promise that says the last enemy that is going to be destroyed is death. If there is anything that has troubled people the world over, it's death. People have solutions to so many situations, but we have not yet found a solution to death. But the Lord is saying here, the death which is your enemy, death which changed your status, death which stole your loved ones, one day is going to be done away with. And if there is anything that I live for, anything that has made me continue working, is the knowledge that one day the Lord is going to bring a solution to death. As we live our lives, we are not so sure whether the plans that we have made for the year we are going to be able, we are going to be there to execute them. But the Lord is saying, don't worry, don't worry. The last enemy that is going to be destroyed is death. And if death is going to be destroyed, how ought we to live? For if we live as if death is the final or death has the final say, we are missing the whole thing. We await a day when the Lord says, even according to Revelation chapter 21, that one day is going to wipe away all tears. That one day he's going to bring our loved ones. That one day he is going to, we don't know what we, it, it is going to be like. But one thing we know for sure, like the Apostle Paul says, is that we shall be changed in the twinkling of an, an eye. And even he says, even as we mourn for our loved ones, we need to mourn with the hope, with the faith that he is coming to make all things right. Can you imagine? Death is so cruel to such an extent that it takes the one who is being the, the breadwinner and leaves the one who needs to be looked after. Death takes the one who is strong, a parent who is supposed to look after the weak ones, but leaves the weak ones alone. That's how painful death is. But we know as we live day in, day out, that the Lord is going to make things right. That he's going to make, he's going to wipe away all tears. That one day the death will be done away. And the best thing is that in heaven, there will be no little tear. There will be no grave. There will be no more mourning. There will be no more separation. There will be no more all these painful things. All these corona things will be done away with. Even if death takes our loved ones now, we know we have the life of Christ within us. And we live with that hope. And that is an act of faith to live and marching on, knowing that one day this thing is going to be done away with. We actually know the end of this whole story, that it's not going to be always like this. Yes, we, weeping may endure for a season like it is uh, doing to us right now. But we know that death will not, always be, will not always be victorious over our lives. There is a day that's coming when we'll look at the grave and say, Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? And I want to invite you to that glorious day as you keep your hope alive, knowing that this death issue is going to be dealt with, is going to be done away with. It's not going to be there. The new world that's coming, death will be not an issue. It will not frighten us anymore. People have done all sorts of things because they're afraid of death. But we are going to do all things because we know the solution to death. And we are going to live every day, living, knowing that the Lord is coming and is going to make all things right. May you hold on, my sisters. May you hold on, my brothers. Knowing that one day, one day soon, very soon, very soon, the Lord is going to make things right. May you be blessed. Mm -hmm.